fairy tale. Evolution is a fairy tale. Right? God created us. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. Right? It's the plainest day. You guys don't think you're evolved pond scum, do you? You guys don't believe that you're evolved pond scum, right? Like, you know, chemicals kind of assembled themselves in a ocean billions of years ago, and then, yeah, I'm just asking. So that's absurd. What the atheists believe is absurd, that life can come from non-life. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's fair. Y'all over from Alabama? Okay. Flip, flip the... Hey, Rich, flip the sign. Oh, the other side? Oh, yeah, so this is the question side. So, uh, thank you. You know, when you do a historical analysis, right? Like which books? There are like over 40 authors. Depends on which books. The New Testament was written mostly by eyewitnesses of, of how Jesus. Many, how many books in your Bible? 66. Uh, probably if it would take me a while. Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, Deuteronomy, Joshua, Judges, Ruth, Samuel, Second Samuel. I don't know. I'd have to think about it. Matthew, Mark, Luke, John, Acts, Romans, First Corinthians, Second Corinthians, Galatians, Ephesians, Philippians, Colossians, yeah. <laughs> Matthew, Mark, Luke, John, X, Romans, 1 Corinthians, 2 Corinthians, Galatians, Ephesians, Philippians, Colossians, 1 Thessalonians, 2 Thessalonians, 1 Timothy, 2 Timothy, Titus, Philemon, Hebrews, James, 1 Peter, 2 Peter, 2 Peter. Hey, quote Romans 1. Romans 1? Yeah, quote that. Romans 1. Romans 8. Romans 8. Quote Romans 8. No, she's trying to test me. Do you like the old or new? <laughs> I like the new better, but it's all good. I just like every, I like the story coming together. And that's what the New Testament is. <laughs> they died! Which one? Well, I'm not an atheist. I used to call myself an atheist, but I quit being an atheist about 12 years ago. What was that change? Um, I'd say step one was just kind of this logical stuff, realizing that... No, I mean, yeah, it's fair. I mean, if you, if you just, you just got to think about it, right? Like, for example, let's just take um, the issue of what we call choice, right? In, in the atheistic universe, all you have is the law of physics acting on matter. There's no place for volition or choice. But we all live as if we make choices. Most of us don't accept that we're wet robots and we need to try it. You know what I mean? Convince you that you're a wet robot. Yeah. Yeah, read it sometime. Read the Gospel of John. Yeah. Yeah, have a good night.